Today's Sunday, January 28th. It's pretty warm out. We're probably gonna hit the beach after this, but in the meanwhile, we're gonna let the old man burn the garage down. It's priceless. We got air hammer, chisel, grinder, drill, and of course the fire wrench. We're going to upgrade the drivetrain, automatic transmission, independent front suspension from uh, Ford Crown Victoria, pause the traction rear end, some minor body work, a few cosmetics, and go out and burn rubber. This is a front suspension complete from a 2006 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. It should pretty much bolt into the frame on the 55. Transmission is out of a one-ton Chevy delivery van or something from the junkyard. Got a Crown Vic subframe with rack and pinion, coilovers, 8.8 .8 rear end, all kinds of goodies. Hoping between 500, 550 horsepower to burn tires. That's the whole plan for the vehicle. Oh, obviously. Kids, don't try this at home. This is the engine we're gonna put in. It's just a LQ9 six liter LS from a SS pickup truck or a Cadillac Escalade came right out of the junkyard. Stock ignition, stock head, stock everything. So they used magma charger blower on it, with air to water intercooler. And that's about it. If you like Chevrolets, yeah, it's a nice engine. This is the original 235 cubic inch Chevrolet six cylinder engine. The single barrel carburetor, three speed manual transmission. And there's plenty of room in here for that LS motor. This is the uh, driver's side, stainless steel, brand new. That's the exhaust system we're gonna use. Holy shit. Air fuel ratio meter, that just came in. Bear claw, door latch. The door latches on the 55 to 59 Chevrolet trucks were weak at best. Just a dual master cylinder, mm -hmm. vacuum power booster, it mounts in the original position under the cab with the brake pedal through the floor, just like 1955. January 21st, 2018, it's about 43 degrees out. We're gonna pull that engine out of there and make room for this stuff. I'm gonna rock it up. I'm gonna rip it up. I'm gonna shake it up. And we're gonna cut the rivets out, drive them out so we don't ruin these original cross members. So eventually it could go back together if that was ever the case. And then the steering box, steering column, the steering linkage, the spring mounts, shock mounts, everything's going here so we can get that Crown Vic front end in it. Here we go, Craigslist, 55 Chevy Crossbumper for sale. Is this gonna burn rubber? Uh,